Welcome everybody to the Metroid Prime CGC. I am Ivy Bot, joined by my co-commentator Slucky. Hello. Um, so anything we find for this scene? Um I'm interested to see how Spring Ball plays up, other than that it seems like everything's basic CGC settings. <laughs> Looks like we're having a bit of an issue in race time, but uh, I think yeah. we just got solved, so we're good. <laughs> okay. And it looks like we're about to start. Yep. Alright, what do we think is going to be the first big progression on Echo's side? It's ball. Uh, <laughs> yeah, ball. <laughs> well, that opens up behind ship immediately. That's kind of nice. Oh, that's an E. Oh, it's an E. I can't see. <laughs> not <Another guy. laughs> Judgment oh, pit. Okay. So jump guardian, aka Jack. Early cheeseburgers. I've noticed something in some of the practice seeds that I've done where it's just like sometimes echoes just we could just end up skipping main PBs because yeah. they get so many cheeseburgers. That's a strange lighter. It looked like a visor. Yeah, I didn't catch what that was. My my initial thought is I thought it was Dark Visor. Yeah, I thought it was so too, and it looked like a translator, so I don't know. I guess we'll see. So Barrow's starting his Albert fight. Gonna see what's that artifact temple here pretty quickly. Yep. Okay, he's having fun going back with visors. <laughs> having that early PB is really nice for Albert. Yes. Oh! Ooh. Okay, it still hit. I thought oh, it wasn't going to yeah. hit because he got knocked yeah, away. Yeah, I thought it was going to miss. Alright, Emerald at Artifact Temple. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Looks like we got a second look at what that visor was on uh, Soaring's. I'm pretty sure that's Dark Visor. That's a key. Which one? Worm key. Okay. That's why I have an issue going through the door. Jay's going to pull up his hints right away. Or is he just checking to see if he has all of them? Oh, yeah. He's just kind of. Yes. Warriors walk. Have Jeremy B. Full shrine. Sword C. In cast 2. So require now later. That was like mostly echoes. Yeah. So where are bombs gonna be in both games? What do you think? Ah, uh, got any early guesses? I'm mean, like bombs are gonna be in Warriors Walk for Echoes. Actually, <laughs> no, it'd be Prime Bombs. Get me Echoes. No for that. Early grapple. All right, I'm gonna say bombs are in Root Cave. Bombs gonna be good here. <laughs> yeah. Early grapple's been interesting in a lot of the seeds I've seen. When we find space jump, then that will show up Root Cave. Yeah. Is X-Ray required for CGC settings? Uh, yes. Yeah, so that's the interesting thing, is you get Space Jump and Grapple, and then it's like, okay, do I get Varia, or do I get X-Ray? Yeah. You know? Because if you get Varia, it might be... There's our first SDK, ...leaning towards ready? Magma Pool. Nice, that's good. It's like Rich is also going to find that grapple. Yep. 
Checking down my chamber. It's a missile, which is fine. One more ammunition. Yeah, it looks like Jay didn't find anything at the bottom of the root cave either. <sighs> Alright, I need the egg on, look normal. See what that accursed like hint is as we get to it. I find it interesting how many people opt to check that transport tunnel at the bottom of Root Cave before even going to Chozo. Yeah. It might be because they have grapple early, though. Yeah. Prime life support. So that's probably an E. Oh, that could uh, very well got be a light suit. beam and half pipe. So, blue spell or space, and then Echoes will have light beam. Yeah. That's an actually pretty good spot for it. Oh, what is that? Is that gravity boost and, uh... That's dark ammo. You think it's gonna be space or boost first? Uh, I think it's gonna be space, but not in the game, it's gonna yeah. be boost. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Space is more likely, but just it seems like the luck involved will end up being a boost. Oh, check those dead. Oof. Usually it's always spacey, yeah, but it's probably going to be boost in the system. <laughs> Got eyes on x ray as well, locked by bombs. Jay in the bottom left is quickly running out of progression here. Still looking for that morph ball. <laughs> Nothing on Hive Totem. Nice. Another cheeseburger. Yeah, it looks like Jay's gonna double check his hints while he's uh, over here in BK. And what is that in the bottom right? I think that's a gravity boost. Maybe. Kind of getting a good luck on Plaza. This seems to be common as well, where it ends up being placed on the uh, Echoes player to find the progression. <laughs> At least for early game. Warriors walk. Yep. <clears throat> Frost Cave is always good. Yeah. I think that's like one like two of the Prime 1 <laughs> artifacts we got. Yeah, I didn't catch all of them. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, there's Space Jump for Prime. Which Jay is about to get, or bro is about to get for Jay shortly. Where was it? I, I missed it. Portal axes A with space. Ah, gotcha. Alright, cool. So our prime is full moving now. Yeah, it opens up a little bit. Still a little stuck with that ball, but you can check root cave now and do a couple other checks. Oh, I guess that gets light beam for echoes as well. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. I guess here's the interesting thing is, uh, uh, where do you wait when you're in Echoes or in uh, in BK? Like, do you try to guess what item you're gonna get and stand near progression? Like, 
would you stand near light beam, hoping you get like boost ball or space jump? Um, I would say probably just stand there until space jump because that's kind of a big item here. Yeah, because I think Jay waited there just in case he got more ball as well. Yeah. Oh, that's supers. That is three. There we go. We did see X-ray earlier as well. Bomb, technically. He has a missile. <laughs> so it looks like we're pretty much tied up right now. Everyone's yeah. all pretty still doing the same thing early game. Oh, there's <laughs> more bombs. <laughs> Echoes bombs a tree. <laughs> With an E tank, that could be Hazen Cliff, but it's gonna be tight for the thing on that. Yeah. I just need to know where Echo Space Jump is. Like we're gonna finally see what's in root cave. I think Jay's gonna go for uh, Arbor Chamber. That's a suit. That's a Varia suit. Not nothing in uh, not root cave. Again. And Jay's gonna do the Arbor Chamber without ball. Might as well while you're here. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Cannonball. Oh, cannonball. Yeah, that's not great. Yeah. I guess it'll be <laughs> nice to have... Yeah, he's not happy about it. He is not happy about it. <laughs> I guess that'll be nice for early movement, but it's going to suck losing that if they're going to eat it later. Yeah. I mean, check his dad for what I've heard, so that's good on that part. But if we get a required area, then that's going to be bad because they have to lose it. Mm hmm. So. Uh, Ken Vault was in Arbor Chamber. Oh, yeah, there goes Ken Vault for Bra. Dang. There's only one in the settings too, right? Yes, there was only one. Yeah. Ooh. What was that? That's just neat. Got excited there. <laughs> Where is this Prime Morph at? It's a good question. Well, if we're incredibly unlucky, it's at Lava Lake. Yeah. I mean, we need Ball to get there anyway, so it can't be. Oh, no, you can get there from uh, Chozo. Or you shrine here, or it could be in uh, Jump Guardian. I don't remember if that was uh, major for Prime or not. Oh, no, you do need Ball. Right. Yeah. I was thinking you get there from Chozo's side and then completely forgot that Vault to the hey, elevator. Ball to get into the <laughs> elevator. Ball to get there. <laughs> the Thardis would be funny. 
I'll look forward to seeing that spider and wave in the mail. Oh, there it is. Oh, no, that's dark ammo. That's dang ammo. Apparently, everything just looks like more fall to me. Jay is resetting out. I don't remember if he saved. Yeah, ball came around, third his or either because we still need ball to get that too. I mean, we couldn't get Vanilla Spider. Could be bombs on Thardis, that would be Thardis, funny. Yeah. I'm still waiting for a seed that does that. We've had a couple of those with the primal uh, races. Hmm. Is that the actual boost? Oh, it's Spider. Echo Spider, spider in Crossroads. Okay. okay. That is Amber. That is Amber. Gotcha. Okay. Finally got a decent look at it. <laughs> oh, I missed that. Did Jay restart his game? Yeah, he reset. There's no wait for ball to... Uh... Oh, get that Amber. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, actually. I think he's BK otherwise. I don't remember if he checked Rune Shrine or not. Uh, yeah, he did. Okay. This jump guardian kill always cracks me up. One pellet. Oh. Oh, That's jumps. Mean. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Not cooperating. I realize that he needs boost in a dark world axis to get his spider. Yep, there's ball. Ball on jump. That's not too bad, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jump Guardian Jack had Morph Ball for Prime. This is Berm Closet. He's about to go check, right? Yes. It's a line ammo. I can help. Yeah, this early came, uh, BK always trades me nuts. I'm sure Soaring's going crazy over there. <laughs> Double checking all the stuff that he could be doing. As someone who's forgotten a check in early okay. game, it is always like the, did I get that? Did I get that? Did I get that? All right, Jay's going back, and I'm assuming this is gravity boost. That's what it looks like it was. We'll find out. 
Yeah, it looks like gravity here. Yeah. yeah. Jay is committing downs. <laughs> I assume he got a peek into what was ever what was that yeah. uh, upper room trying. Like Jay's peaking vault. It's an SDK. I don't know. Ooh. Looks like he's heading towards Magmore. Yeah. Let's get that check out of the way, I guess. Without bombs, though, that's the only thing you can do down here. Yeah. I suppose if he gets lucky and bombs is there, you can go check a uh, storage cavern. Yeah. Or whatever that that room's called. I think a storage cavern. Yeah, storage cavern. And then he can head to transfer into tunnel A and head to Malfen. Hmm. I assume if it's not, he'll just go to Deep Chozo. Yeah. Transport Center being space dump for Echoes. And sunglasses and lava lake, so we can now blind nice. ourselves in Magmore. <laughs> Wait, what did Echoes find? I missed that. Ah, uh, Transport Center was space dump for Echoes. Oh, gotcha. All right, cool. So Echoes is moving now. Yeah. Targeting on for worm keys? Or oh, Great Temple, that was it. Targeting on Great Temple. Alright. Rich is fighting jump, which means Soaring will get his ball soon. The th he is waiting by storage cavern, so this will be a fresh check that Jay hasn't done yet. Yeah. So if that is something progression-wise, that could open things up a little bit for them. Yeah. Let's see what we get. Also, uh, Soaring has the nice health. <laughs> nice. I think the big thing is, is like if uh, if Soaring finds like wave beam or something like that, yeah, it might be pretty big. Because I don't think Jay's gonna check that for a while. He's most likely going to do. Chazo, um, yeah. Yeah, there's just so many checks there. There's no reason why you wouldn't. Yeah. There is more ball for soaring. And see what storage cabin has in tail. Yeah, we're gonna get some fresh checks on both sides with between both prime games. Yeah. Nice movement tech. Yeah. From Jay right there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> storage cabin's uh, not droid. Disappointing. Yeah. I was really hoping that'd be progression, kind of like uh yeah. Spice up the race a little bit. <laughs> we haven't found boost for Echoes. Well.
missile. A missile. As someone who actually hasn't watched a lot of races, it, it is very interesting watching what people do for movement for rooms and stuff. Like, I always check yeah. the, uh, like, Ruin Fountain. I'll, I'll go through, do all the scans, check the item, possibly do Dynamo, and then go down and check the underwater check. Yeah. It's not going on GMMC check. Jay looks like he's heading to Zoid. Boy. So Will we think, get vanilla bombs? bombs <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a letter. That's going to be helpful. Nice, that means you can check behind. That'll be good. Do both at once. I think Brad does a cutscene, or he's gonna crash, I suppose. Some... possibly. Nothing's worse than finding a required item on Zoid for Prime side. Not being able to check behind and having to do this again and check the back behind later. And then possibly having to do a third time. <laughs> yeah. I think at that point you'd just probably wait until bombs. Game key hint, all right. Lovely. I assume Bra is seeing if you can check something there? What was that uh, jump? There's a small pixel, if you hit the ceiling of it, you can peek and see without enemies. Gotcha. I missed it, but apparently he might have got a glimpse I didn't of see anything, so I think he's just skipping. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna head to the crash site and find nothing but uh, sadness. Yeah. And a missile. All right, Zoid, what you got? Um, there it we go. Um, <laughs> the curse continues. <laughs> Glad to see it's uh, Christmas early. Yeah. So Jay, I think it's gonna go to the lower furnace. I like the blame immediately going out in chat, by the way, who joined the seed. <laughs> I know it wasn't my bombs, but well, that's like eight now that I've seen in yeah. like a month. I am cursed with vanilla bombs, so seeing bombs there triggers me a little bit. I prefer this. Looks like a missile. No, I think it's a missile, yeah. I was kind of hoping we'd get to see uh, Upper Furnace without Spider. Yeah. Oh, well. It's always a cool trick. Lower furnace. Not really helpful when we don't have any dark usage right now. Yeah. Alright, so it looks like Jay's probably going to clean up a little bit in Chozo and then head to Fendrana. I don't think yeah. he'll do like IBF or anything crazy like that. There's quite a bit to do in Logic. 
Yeah. Soaring's now heading to Chozo, a little bit behind uh, Jay. He's going to pick up some items and stuff. This gravity boost feels really early. Do you think that's a bit of a red herring, or are we going to see Torvus? Uh, I would say Torvus, since we already have Emerald. Yeah, Never. that's what I was thinking so. as well. So what do we need for that? Supers? Dark Beam? Uh, Dark Beam or Supers, yeah. Still no beams yeah. for Prime, either. Yeah. Jay's gonna go ahead and check Dynamo. <laughs> like, Rich is getting hogged by the two splinters. <laughs> Ooh, screw attack and Dynamo. That is very good. The unfortunate part for Soaring is he's going to last check Zoid. Just that's just the natural way to do it. You don't do a blind check on a one way. Yeah. So he's gonna be behind for a little bit. <clears throat> it's like Rich is making his way to GFMC. Yeah, as their baseball. their team name states. Is it was there anything over there? Has a uh, rub been there yet? For GFMC, yeah, it was uh, the lemon. Ah, yes. Prime. That's actually pretty dang good for soaring to find or to get. Yeah. Let me pick it up. There he goes. It's good timing. Uh, that might actually thing. getting those power bombs might actually mean he gets the screw attack earlier. Yeah. New Avario, so Magnapult, Sonic Boom. Okay. Sonic Boom. <clears throat> You know, we need to get people to RA. Uh, Magmore start with Thermal. I mean, we need Valvario to start with that, too, so we don't die out straight out. Oh, yeah, true. <clears throat> Fair point. Thanks, Ruby. Yes, it is indeed the Guile Beam. <laughs> Luckily, Guile and Samus are both charge characters. Yeah. Yep, he did in fact find that screw attack a little bit early for uh, Rich, so that's good. Nice. Alright, so we're kind of out of the early game now. Looks like uh, Soaring's gonna be on his way to. Yeah, gonna be on his way to bombs, so both players will have bombs. Morph. Prime's kind of starving for a beam, but other than that, we got quite yeah. a bit going on at the moment. Oh, this trick by Jay, he's about to do is... I, I love this trick. Basically skip the entire bomb block yeah. setup or whatever. Yeah, that was a neat x-ray there. Yeah. Well, that's Ruke fully in logic now. Even though it was a not trade but eh. Or whatever it was. Oh, Jay's cleaning up Chozo. Um... I guess the question is, I assume he'll do Flaggles before he goes to Fendrana. But it'll be interesting to see if he doesn't. I imagine his uh, game plan would be to just do every check as quickly as I can. Nope, I was doing the Not really skip anything. BSJ. Nice.
Uh, bro, you have screw attack, bud. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know! Yeah, it looks like Sorin's going to Zoid now, where he'll pick up his bombs. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see what he does from there. If he thinks he's behind, maybe he'll go straight for Fen, which would actually reward him, I believe. I'm trying to think of what else he would have. Yeah, there's nothing else other than the X-Ray. Chozo wise. Yeah. I think an X play is going to Fen. Hmm. So if he makes You're that play, that of another wind beam, like you've had the one seed. Oh, that's not funny. <laughs> It's supposed to be randomized! <laughs> I mean, we already had vanilla bombs, where could vanilla wave do anything? <laughs> Honestly, vanilla wave in the grand scheme of things isn't too bad, because typically you, you kind of check that out anyway, because you can just look at it. Yeah. Bombs just sucks, because it's like you do a blind check yeah. and you can't leave. Worm key acquired. Yep. Oh yeah, that's true. We do have PBs as well, so yeah, she got would uh, evaporate. Vanilla yeah, let's ice. not do any more vanilla ice. <laughs> <laughs> we can shelve that one for a little bit. Well, well we haven't seen plasma, in a while. Though. I was <laughs> about to say that <laughs> we haven't seen vanilla plasma in a long time. All right, Sarin's got his bomb. the suit. Okay. We just need Alice Supers or Dark Beam slash Nailer to get. Yeah, Nailer to get that. What suit was it? Ah, uh, progressive suit. So that's an Echo suit. In I got it. Run. Just for Echoes. Yeah. Yeah. But the question is if it's the bar, or the fight, or it's the in cash. Yeah, was it an A suit or a the suit? More missiles for insane canyon. <laughs> okay. So Worms has a dark slash monitor beam. That's good. That's some good info. Time for Worm Rave. We need to find the last key, though. I like the solid pause on that with Rich, too. He yeah. knew what just happened. <laughs> this LA bro doesn't know that yet, because he hasn't got that hint, so... And bro can live instantly for a little bit longer. Gonna have the lead on that one, for hint wise. <laughs> yeah. It's like bro's gonna dip into Sank though. See some hazing cliff. Yeah. We have space jump. We have screw attack. I think we have two E's. Yeah, so we could do that. Uh, he's one or two. That screw attack uh, yeah. clip or whatever. He's got two. Yeah, he's got plenty. I can't remember that room name. Uh, calling chambers slash hazing cliff. Hollow combat. Yeah, yeah, hollow combat mastery. That's what I was thinking of. All right, going to Fen on J screen. Soaring's now leaving Furnace. Will he save and go to Fen, or will he try to clean up the rest of Chozo? Okay, so you want Ice for Lions has an E. Okay. Did not catch what Lighthouse had. Or a creepy and nasty guy, I couldn't quite tell. Must have not been anything crazy, because I think... Oh, he doesn't have boost ball, actually. Yeah. He needs booster spider to get that. I guess we'll see if uh, wave beam vanilla is a thing. Yeah. I don't know what hidden glove was. 
Oof. Ooh, Soaring's gonna do Flaggles. Okay. So that's Good gonna be play. a fresh check. Yeah, this could actually be big. If this is a beam or something, then this could be huge for uh, Prime. Yeah, it's really nice seeing uh, both teams kind of like they hit a point where All right, they've wave sort of is split off. Vanilla. What was on Shigo? Uh, I think it was an E. I don't quite recall, but it was not wave because he turned back. <laughs> Yeah. So, either courtyard or plan's got the thing coming up. Hang on, your temple, yeah. The only downside is Soaring does not have spider for ghosts. Yeah. We got two boss fights on screen at the same time. Got some DS1 action. Along with the... Yeah. Uh, Dynamax Scyther. <laughs> you could say that. <laughs> Zernart, Middle Dark, which might be on Worms then. At least we have the Light Beam, so... Yeah. DS1 is dead. So you guys, we're all gonna do the swag jump here. No, no, he is not. All right. Blows up turrets, leaves, doesn't elaborate. <laughs> Damn. Okay, two mouse is dead. That's good. Oasis is more fall related. Yep. It's like Jay didn't find anything at Canyon. I didn't Canyon, yeah. see him pick anything up. Yeah, so he's going to go ahead and save exit and then. I assume. Yeah, he's going to save warp. He's got to save there first just in case because I assume if he gets wave, he'll probably just reset and come right back. Uh, he. <laughs> Thorin missed the missile there. Hello, these panels. There he goes. Yeah. I've never seen someone try to do like a free aim to hit the mirrors from the other side. Yeah. Okay, now Rich has got the battleground hand for a suit. Oh my god, it's Spider. Okay, spider on so, flaggles. yeah, which means Ghost might have something, because it's full in logic now. <laughs> Soaring is very happy about that. <laughs> yeah. We'll see if he turns around and does Ghost. I assume he will. There's no reason for him not to. And it's fully logical, so it's super, so... Yeah. He doesn't have X-Ray, unfortunately, because he didn't go back for that quite yet. Yeah. Ghost get Fountain Boost as well, yeah. Soaring is going to go ahead and do, uh... Oh yeah, the fan baseball, yeah. That would help for Prime. That'll give us, uh, send processing as well. So I don't know how we're doing Echoes-wise, but Prime-wise, that actually puts Soaring in the lead. Yeah. Less checks done, though. Yeah. Yeah, Jay's going back for Flaggles right now. So he'll get that pretty quick. Or without, if the ghost is spawning, you could shoot the little bubble to make them uh, drop faster. So you can speed up the ghost spawning in a little bit. Hmm. Jarvis is entering. Yeah.
What is that item in there? Is that wave beam? That is wave beam. Yeah, that's wave. Not sure what room of this is in Echoes, to be honest, from the outside. Yeah. But that's kind of a big out of uh, logic check. Yeah. Storage C, gotcha. What are we missing for storage C? Supers. Just Dark Beam? Supers. Just, that's right. Yeah, it's just Supers for storage C. Because we have Screw Talk, so we can't actually get there. Hmm. All we need boost and spider. Bet you uh, supers is either boost locked or upper dynamo. I can see that. So here's the interesting we know waves coming up then, and we do yeah. have spider. Will either the prime players, when they go back to Fen, try to go from the back side? So I'm wondering if Jay might, considering he has early Fen done already. Uh, this we have Spider that gives us upper dynamo, which I think is what Soren is going back for. Yeah. And that'll also give us Ice Runes East for Spider side. Spider track. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if Jay. I don't think he did the out of bounds for Upper Dynamo. Ah, uh, no, he didn't. Yeah, so this will be a first time glimpse. I assume Soaring's going to go for that boost ball first. Yeah, Soren's getting that boost as well, so Echoes has boost now. But then they can get close to getting their spider in crossroads. Bro, still trying to get in there on that wave beam. Yeah. So you see, like, yeah, I'm unfamiliar with this. catching him a bit. Yeah. I assume you're clipping with like there, an that means Supers is coming up somewhere here. Yeah. That was my assumption which as well. Which is probably going to be Upper Dynamo, which then gives the Echo Supers for the Dark Beam. Or the Wave, my bad. Dude. Doing what Jay's doing right now, the reverse door without boost. Oh. And he can do the Spring Ball method here, because that's in agreement for that one. Hmm. There he goes. He got it finally. Sorry, went back for Vault to get that SDK. I don't think he went to Upper Dynamo. No, he didn't. Yeah. It's a little yeah, worrying since like, he's yeah, now. He's not doing either. It's like he's going for that boost as well. Gotcha. Which is during the process of which would be a first for us, too. Alright, wave beam is in. Oh. Cross lane with a missile, okay. Ross is resetting out. I don't know if he saved. When he saved, I think he saved the save station. Ooh. Jay missed the thing for it. I guess I'm in this method. Yeah. It's also interesting seeing the x-ray as well. There he goes. 
Nice. Okay, yeah, that was that's fancy. Well saved. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, it's probably our last thing on key there. Time for worms? Gotta get that dark beam, right? Yeah. It's two. Which one is he missing? Yeah, it's, uh, the R jump is actually typically what I see there more often. I yeah. actually didn't know there was a standable on the other side of the uh, little yeah. corporate hang there. That other side is usually what you want to use for the um, dash forward for NSJ method. Gotcha. All right. Looks like GS5 check on that upper dynamo we keep mentioning. Yep. And just probably going to be our supers for echoes. Or a missile. Embedding missile. Main PBs. Oh, it's okay. main PBs. Okay. So, what does that do for echoes? Like, they've already checked dynamo some... chamber and some of the PB checks are already there, so. Yeah, I assume they already checked the tunnel on the way to GFMC. Yeah. So they did have the expansion. I think it was a missile as well. Mm -hmm. Wasn't too important on that one. Oh, Sand Canyon, because they have screw attack. Yeah, we got a hint for an Echo's Beam on uh, Worms. So it's either Annihilator or Dark. There we go. That's right. So somebody with the other gun key. So with this one, I think Ridge is gonna go to Worms. <laughs> Which I mean won't be a bad play. We know it's a required item. Yeah. Did Bro ever get the hint for Worms? I assume uh, he did. Bro, no, point. he never went to Maining Grounds to get the hint. Ooh. So Bro does not know. Yeah. I mean, I think he's got all three as well, worms so he deck. may as well go do it anyways. For a no hint one, yeah. but we'll see. I don't, yeah, I don't know what else checks he has. So I don't know if it's advantageous for, like, from instead of doing a blind check to go somewhere else or not. Um, so that could be interesting. If he knew the secretless screw attack stuff, he could try to get break into Torvis. I don't know about that. I assume the uh, other worm check was nothing? Uh, for what I saw, probably not, but I didn't quite get a good look at it. Yeah. Oh, let's see, Soren's picked up his thermal. I need to pick up his actual. He can now blind himself in Magmore. Looks like he's not going to uh, Fen. Yeah. I'll blast through early Fen. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. Yeah, Thardis is on the table now. The interesting thing, thing too, is they can go from the backside as well. I don't think either of them will. I mean, Jay might, just because he already has early Fen done, so it would be nice to have that. It'd be a better position to be in for, um, like, if Ice Beam were to pop up in Echoes at some point. <laughs> it's a very strong table. All right, getting our Tower of Light check, Tower Progression. Some nice uh, combat dashes from Jay. And he's rewarded with an E-Tank.
What if Thardis is the table? It's possible that the, that uh, out of bounds that Bra did for the wave beam is gonna be kind of huge because we don't know how long it'll be before we're soaring. We'll get wave beam, which kind of closes off the rest of the game, unless he finds like ice beam or something. He's gonna check lower warrior shrine though. I don't think we've seen this yet. Oh, it's just an E-Tank for uh, Echoes. All right, looks like we got Rich doing worms. He knows what's there, he's gonna knock it out. Jay is heading towards Twin Fires. Uh, very possible he could head towards Deeper Magmore and fight Thardis, which I don't think would be a terrible play at this point. Oh, looks like he's gonna go up to go into Fenley normal way. Would be tough with that wave, but they do have uh, bombs and supers and missiles, so wouldn't be too awful. Oh. Alright, I'm back. Welcome back. That and Ned. Any worms get? And we go. Worms. Yeah, it looks like Jay is heading back to Fen. Yeah. Sorry, wave that's starting Fen. Logic, so. All right, is that Dark Beam or Annihilator? Uh. Don't know yeah. yet, but we're getting there. It's like a whole more phase to do. You think it's gonna be dark beam or night later? Um, I think it's gonna be dark. <laughs> yeah, it makes more sense to me. I don't really think annihilator opens up a lot in this position. To be fair, I have station. It's like bros also going to worms. Oh, we have a worm rave. The blind check. Well, he's got another option. Are there, we gonna have so. double worm wave? Yeah, that's what I was I was curious about. Is he was gonna get to a point where it's like you only have so many checks left. You're right there. You yeah. have all three keys. Like yeah, okay. Lighthouse wasn't. It's usually play. a bad play to do blind worms, but at the same time, it's yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure Jay and Bro at this point have got to be thinking that Worms has something, because Wave yeah. is still out of logic. And yeah. Jay is uh, running out of checks. Soaring's gonna go check uh, She Goth and find Sadness. 
Yeah. Yeah, worms are they dark beam. Yeah, it's my TV. It's gonna be similar, so not much I can do about that with sound and things. Actually. Yeah, it's interesting because Jay could be going deeper into defend, but I think he realizes that without wave being in logic, he's missing super missile somewhere. So I'm not sure what checks he has left pre wave. Yeah. Either that or he is just going reverse. We'll see if he runs past the elevator and. Yeah. So we did have a dark beam on worms, by the way? Yeah. We did. Uh, we saw a magma pool. We did not see training chamber access or training chamber, I don't believe. No, we didn't. Or tower light slash tower chamber. Or in this case, tower progression normally. Uh, we did see that actually while you were gone. Oh, was it? Okay. Anything? Jay went up there. E tank up the top. Yeah. Nope. It was lame. Okay. I'm actually wondering if has supers in their game, since Dark Beam has just opened things up. Yeah. So the logical requirement would have been to get Dark Beam and then get supers and then go get Wave Beam for Prime. Yeah. I think Jay is heading off to go uh, fight uh, Teddy Rock, man. Or in his case, the Rock Bunny. Yeah. We'll see if anything that... uh. The place I always think is Monitor Station, but it's not. Oh, it's a red key. Hopefully we don't need the chicken key. Oh. So you can just leave it there. <laughs> Sank entrance supers. Oh, actually they could be. Because we now have access to our spider in Crossroads. Jay is going to get his Dark Beam. See where Jay goes from here. I'm actually kind of curious. Or not Jay, bruh. Wrong person. Chick was hinted for a missile tank. Dead key. Gotcha. Yeah. You love to see it. Yeah, Spider was in Crossroads, but you knew that because they peaked it. Nice quarantine monitored. Dwayne the Thardis Johnson. Yeah, it seems to be the hunt for Echo Super Missiles at this point. Yeah. Mainly for soaring. So they're gonna be stuck on that wave, which might be the race decider. Yeah. What if Thardis has Ice Beam? That'd be funny, because we have, 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 ooh, have that happen a lot of times. Also had him have bombs, yeah, or would, even uh, Yeah, I wouldn't be the first time. Or a gravity suit, because why not? Thank 
murder. Jay's gonna go ahead and clean up Plurtus. Just has one PB left to take him out. Jay's gonna target him. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pointless. Yeah, it's a chicka key. All right, so third is not required. Yeah. What it means, the labs has got something. No, that that's, yeah. Uh, we don't know where it's, uh, Echo Troopers is yet. Uh, working. not yet. Looks like a. Uh... We're thinking it's gonna be in Dark Labs. That is kind of the hunt right now, and I think. Yeah, it's gotta be an Echoes game. I think. I don't think it can be in Prime unless uh. More progression is found for Prime. Free. Oh no, I guess everything is in logic, Echo said. I don't know if we picked Ice Run Z Spider Track or not. Uh, it was an E tank. I it think. was an E, okay. E. Yeah. And I got the cannonball on that side too. So. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, no. Uh, Currently, as is, it looks like the big yet, play. So. Oh, I never picked up the cannonball in Arbor, so actually, that's still there. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it seems like the big play right now that uh, could be the race of Cider is Bra did clip into Storage C to get uh, Wave Beam for J. And soaring is pretty close to wave locked. Yeah. And Jay's at labs right now, so we'll see what labs has in store. I mean, if labs has nothing and soaring happens to be near far fen or far chozo and ice just happens to be vanilla. <laughs> yeah. That could change something. Yeah. Like, Grace is definitely not, like, guaranteed yeah, or anything. There's still right plenty now. of game left, plenty of items to find. Yeah. Yeah. The lead is definitely in Bra and Jay's favor, though. For current wise, yes, but that could definitely change. I want to see the madness. I want to see Ice Beam. Uh, yes. Vanilla or something like that, something. and then Soaring finds it. So we do have logic for that now. Sink entrance. Inventory with a missile. I love that Nirvana album. Okay. I'm gonna switch audio over because as much as I love hearing the uh, pirate combat theme from Prime One. Oh, yeah. Drains my soul hearing it. Uh, it was a progressive steer during the Stark suit. We had a hand saying it was a progressive suit, it was in Battleground, so it's dark. Right, bros, I'm doing the quick uh, phase on this for Battleground. You just light beam all the beacons and then PB the first two and then the other die in the beacons. Huh. I'll have to keep that in mind. That's kinda of, kinda of cool actually. It is slightly faster than the annihilator method. It's still pretty newbie beacons. when it comes to echoes. Yeah. Really? Yeah, okay. Oh. Yeah. So that gives us pod W accessible. Where are these Echo Supers? Well, this is really coming nothing right now. 
Yeah. Does that mean they're in research core left? Someone's not anything close to PK, so. Oh, that's a cool screw attack. Okay. I don't know about that one. That's helpful. Prime Echo Z. Drop in because we're going to need it later. Supposedly. Yeah. I think the four or five should be good. That came out. Looks like Aether is nothing. Yep, looks like Bruh's going to do out of bounds check Feeding Pit. Going on a, on a little adventure. See what Phoenix Pit's got. Validation. All right. Cool. <laughs> or in Callum's case, uh, Albert Key. And we just walk back in the vein from falling ceiling fall. Phoenix Pit doesn't have a feeling. This is always my least favorite part of a, uh, a duo seed is where is the yeah. one item we're looking for? No. <laughs> is it really going to be sync entrance? Uh, actually, it could be, yeah. Yeah. I'm starting to wonder. Even if it's not supers, it could be progression for Prime to find supers. Was, but I don't think it was anything since Jay is walking back. Pirates are not being friendly to him right now. But now I'm just late, okay. The bouncers are working the club. Yeah. Oh, actually, it will be fun to have the ETMs be actual. Rich is going to find his own dark suit as well. Temple. Make them actually do something. Yeah, it is. We haven't seen Torvus yet either. So we can get the Taurus now, even without Supers, right? Am I crazy? Oh, I think so. Because we have Dark and Lost Light, and we have Dark Suits, so we can get through the... ...Things Lost. <laughs> yeah... So I assume Jay's going to save Warp here, and he'll probably go check Training Chamber and Training Chamber Access. Yeah. So I think that's pretty much all he has left until he gets ice. Yeah. I'll learn down, I think we had a hint for him, remember? Dark suit now. It's like all our dead is nothing. Where is the progression? Well, it's gonna be in Torvis, or it's gonna be in. Uh... Yeah, just gonna. Past level or uh, magma pool. Yeah, magma pool was. Uh, well, I guess J also has far chozo as well. Yeah. It's 
So Jay will probably do train chamber, train chamber access, check uh, far Chozo. Yeah. Potentially find vanilla ice beam. <laughs> oh, here's the head scratcher. What if uh, anti chamber is super missiles? What's wrong, log ice beam? Or, yeah, ice beam and warriors walk. <laughs> Something like that, yeah. Oh, Jay's not gonna do training chamber. As long as he's going straight for Farcho, though. He's gonna go. Yeah. Maybe he's opting to wait until he has boost ball? Maybe. Yeah, he can lock pick into chamber. I'm terrible at it, but. Oh, he's gonna save. He's gonna save, split it, I think. Yeah. Oh, he peaked train chamber already? So I thought last time he went to Magma Pool, he didn't have wave. I must have missed that. I don't know. Never mind. I don't, I don't know. I wasn't aware they went back again. I guess doing IBAF, even though uh, he's got all the stuff requires to get there. Must have something we don't. It's probably just I just want to deal with the wave uh, slot. Because we can't, I don't think he's able to do that. Oh, yeah, fair. The I mean, at this point, it would be IBAF. Is there any flag holes that are already dead? I speak after flaggles. <laughs> I think before flaggles, after flaggles. <laughs> Struggling with that slope oh, jump a little bit, trying to get into that. Oh, bro's gonna hint. Alright, about to get double out of bounds, prime echoes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, ooh, Rich, Rich is checking, uh... Anything left? Sank. I think we've seen these on Bruz already. I yeah. I have, yes. I think I'm gonna go peek at him before. Who was a missile? Okay. I don't think he has anything special that Bra didn't have when he was here, so... Other than the spider. Yeah. But that's about it. Well, I think it is accessible, though, so... Alright, we're gonna see our SDK hints. Oh, boost card in. <laughs> Mineshaft. Not bad. Vault. Vault. He realized he. <laughs> Jay forgot Vault. Vault. Or Tortoris Arena. Jay has fallen down while trying to do IBBF. In control access. Or by IBAF. ECA. Ben Pond. OP! <laughs> Perfect! SHNA. This seat is fantastic. Alright, so we got Ricard, OP, and Vanilla Bombs. Fantastic. Looks like uh, keys and artifacts are very heavy on the Echo side. Yeah. Uh, OP is Omega Pirates. Yeah. Boss of the mines. The big lad. It has an SDK.
Oop, I'm gonna go ahead and switch audio on that. Or when you have space jump, you can slope jump in. What is he trying to get? He's trying to get the, uh, this. Or the half pipe. Which I think he's already gotten, too. Oh, he might just be practicing, because he's already gotten it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's just practicing. Not a terrible idea. I'm still looking for the supers. Oh, if anything, you should be, uh, in my opinion, should uh, save and go practice IBBF. Jay is making his way through Furnace. Hitting that load trigger. I hate this load trigger. Yeah. Hit. Fall off! <laughs> <laughs> Trying to go for the bad luck. <laughs> okay. There he goes. Okay. Noise. Well done. That's a suit. It's like... I, I missed it. What was it? It's either gravity or phase on in Hall of the Elders. Yeah. Oh, oh that's phase on, I think. like phase on, I think, yeah. That's cool. I did not know you could do that. I don't know that either. That's All right. Cool. I think he just rolls back out of bounds. There we go, Sam. Yeah. That's cool. So that's ice beam locked? Yes. And it looks like he's gonna peek Elder Chamber as well. I think or is gonna try to get back up to you to uh any chamber. Yeah. Really funny if Ice Beam is vanilla here, and then you could have just gone back to get this normally. <laughs> Possibly. We what if Anti Chamber's plasma? Skip, so we could potentially see some beam skips. Yeah. But with OP, it's I really it. dependent on where plasma is. Oh, that's true. So we're gonna need the ice, anyways. Yeah. Never mind. Lame. Now I'm sad. Yeah. I mean, it's why we do the skip anyways, but... Mm. Alright, so both Prime players are still in BK. Bruh's doing out of bounds stuff, and Rich is doing basically his checks. I mean, what have we haven't? Kind of like what have we... logic here, but also kind of not. Yeah. What is in logic right now to go to that we haven't seen? Torvus. Uh, Torvus and Odd W. I don't know if they've checked peaks out yet. Or um. I need Dark Worship. And Jamie the Missile. Okay, no vanilla ice. Dang. Rip the dream. And Braz getting back to the ceiling of base access. You just fall into it. There he goes. I 
think Jay's gonna do his last check in Farchozo. Oh yeah, big cross right. That's about it. Yeah. Do you have to fight this ghost? I thought the yes, the first one you have to fight. You so can't give him the box is quite large. You gotcha. have to know the boxes to know when you. Oh, can it does it. lock that door. Yeah, it locks the doors. That's the only ghost fight that locks the doors. If you hit the wave bomb slot, the ghosts that spawn after that won't lock the doors. Yeah, sure. It'll just lock the bomb slot to the statue. I will up seeing missile doors from the backside. Ooh, what is that? Is that a missile? No. That's a missile, yeah. It is a missile. Okay. He's probably just grabbing it because there's nothing else to do. I'm pretty sure yeah, at this point Jason DK. He could do. I'm unaware of any other out of bounds or any other shenanigans that you could pull off here. Uh hmm. There is two spots for that suit. Is that either Hive Gyro or that's uh, Quad? <laughs> the Light Suit either Quad or Hive Gyro. Oh, please give us the required Quad slash OP. The slope jump that Jay is doing drives me crazy too. Oh, yeah. Getting out of that half pipe. Yeah, so which, yeah, that means, uh, quad is, say, let's see it then. I'm wondering what's going through their heads right now, because at this point it's gotta be like, where is the progression? Yeah. Uh, looks like Rich is heading towards Torvus, by the way. Yeah. Following the path. Finally! Screw attack mix getting through this area is so much nicer. I need to do more Echo Seeds. Yeah, nobody's checking Sank Entrance yet. I wonder if that's on uh, Bra's brain. So at this point it's like... Early well, Torvus okay. or... Yeah. Sank Entrance. I don't know if he had Planet Dark Worship checked yet. Hmm. But that is also in logic right now, too. Nice joke, huh? That's a prime boost. Boost ball. I don't think that does anything, unfortunately. Burning Chamber, I don't know if that was anything. Yeah. Train Chamber, like, has never has progression for some reason. Most of the time, yeah. Phase on grounds. I don't think we've seen phase on grounds either. Well, the one upside to this seed is we got plenty of ease on both sides. Yeah. You could screw attack Rob, bro. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of sad he didn't. It's pretty funny coming into this fight, screw attacking immediately and just watching the ship explode. Run here for that can blow up. I think you were there the first time I did that, and I like busted myself laughing. The other thing we haven't seen is any of the multiplayer pickups for Echoes other than yeah. uh, Cannonball. Wall crawl of the far fin. Uh, Jay can go get that vault key if he decides to go back for that. Yeah, I think he just realized that he's probably heading there now. Oh, Plaza was in Torvus Temple access. Ooh. That's something. That is. I would have to play against the cannonball now. That opens up a couple checks in Fen. Yeah, that's behind Ice and Ice runs East and Fur Lines and West. Not much. And up towards, up towards She Goth as well. That's a blind check we haven't seen yet. Yeah, Ice Temple. Yeah. 
That's gonna be nasty if that leads to the supers. Yeah. For uh, echoes. That was not fun logic. Yeah. Why is the Torvis music so good? Upper and lower, oh, I love them banger. both. Yeah. Don't be a banger if we get the remastered version, if that ever comes out. Maybe one day. Corruption HD. Metroid music is it's so good in general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least we know Retro knew what they were doing. Fentrama drifts. I love that. Fentrama. Mm. So I think at this point, one of these plasma checks might be something. Or I'm still wondering about that sink entrance, man. I don't know. Yeah. That could be gnarly. Yo, what if supers is plasma locked and then ice beam is at sink entrance? <laughs> that would be disgusting. Second like between ice going to transport axes and fen for the plasma mm -hmm. lock to get uh, supers. Or possibly you have a far fen beam that's somewhere in that beam there. We'll switch audio to Jay since he's going to fen. Yeah. We'll get that sick magma music for a small bit. Sank exit. <laughs> I guess it's technically like hazing clips. Yeah. But that could be just like. Hazen Cliff could be high of exit. Hmm, true. Call a combat mastery then? Maybe. Call a transform, yeah, maybe. Oh, that's true, yeah. Well, Jay's heading to Ice Runs East first. I don't remember what was there, but it must be something if he's heading back to it. Nope. If it was something that he would have grabbed it earlier, I know he knows the out-of-bounds for it. Yeah. He probably just forgot what it was. Or maybe he realizes that uh, he doesn't have many checks to do, so it's good to grab the extra expansions. Yeah. Not sure where he's at on missiles. I love that scan dash off of the uh, Invisibats. Oh, yeah. It feels good to get that much distance. Alright, time to see if uh, Supers is plasma locked. Give it to me. It was for <laughs> I'm not going to flame throw everything now. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> Jay's upset at the flamethrower. Yeah. We only have Prime 1 validation, at least. Yeah, hard to trust Ruby. <sighs> yeah, it looks like Brawl's probably gonna check sink entrance now. I this has gotta be something, right? Uh, We're at a probably, point now yeah. where it's just like I mean we can continue in to sank. We have to go through spider side so. Spider treasure might have something. Yeah. 
It's where you can get to wash station access to wash station and all the side stuff there. It's like Soaring just picked up also that cannonball and arbor yes, chamber. That could also be something too. Phase on grounds. I actually don't remember if we've seen phase on grounds or not. Uh, we have not. I don't think so. I think at this point, GA is probably going to wait by Farfen. Yeah. Yeah, or maybe he's heading towards the elevator for mines. Not sure which. like the one use of grapple that I really appreciate is getting out of a quarantine cave without having to use spider. Yeah. Better with our processing and mines, so you don't have to worry about doing all the full climb on that. Yeah. Yeah, you know what's crazy about the prime health too is Jay could have more E-tanks, but since he reset his game, he's actually short a couple than what he had before. Yeah. I mean, he's still got like seven, so six, seven. So he's still got oh? Three. Is Jay about to do something silly? Oh, maybe he's changing his mind? What is this? Looks like he's doing out of bounds for Fen. Or was, I don't know. Yeah, I think he was debating it. Is that Ice is saying entrance? Oh my Please god. Please, do it. Oh, the power knocked him off. Oof. Oh. It was Cobalt. Mm. Oh, it's okay. Cobalt. Oh. I mean, that's a free hint. Is it time for Steve? Oh, what did that say? Planet Dark Porship? Supers and Pod, yeah. Pod over here has supers. Dang, yeah, bros. So that's uh, the wave beam thing. So that's wave beam logic. That's nasty. So the only way you could get that hint is doing sink entrance. Yeah. We're just going to go since he's going to do the phase on rounds. Oh yeah, but, uh, Pod W has got supers, which gives the wave beam and logic. <laughs> yeah. Which technically Rich is closer to right now. Uh, sort of, but he has to go the long way around for it. Yeah. He has to go back to Grand Temple to get around. Because he doesn't have the Dark Fighter Seekers to get through this way. I think he's. I don't know, my portal's 12, but is he heading towards uh, phase on grounds? Yes. Which won't be supers, but could be something. Enough, Prime is still BK because of it because Jay's already done the wave beam checks. Mm. 
No. I was like, yes, bro, and Rich are high fiving here. Nice. I guess it makes sense that, that Bro would do this first because getting that supers in logic probably isn't as important as doing more checks. I want to yeah. grab it on the way, obviously, but. Yeah. Jay is going to go ahead and do some shenanigans out of bounds. Oh, those supers, that's. We already have Sword C, which. We're just going to have to go back to get that. I want to put Warriors Walk in logic, too. Uh, Point Torvus Energy Controller and Lower Torvus and Logic. Sam Jay is doing out of bounds to defend. Man, I feel for soaring. I'd, I'd be losing my mind right now, not having waited for this long. Yeah. It's not real. It's like Rich or something thinking the same thing. Yeah, it'll be supers and Torvus. I think that's gonna be the play. Tend to play Warriors Walk, but I think Torvus. I think it's a better play because there's a lot more open stuff there. Yeah. Although with how this seat's going, it's probably Warriors Walk. Yeah. Anyways, I'm gonna grab food. I'll be right back. Enjoy. Got a slight flamethrower cameo on Soaring Screen. I think at this point we're pretty much all eyes on Bro to see uh, where he goes next and what is going to be in logic. Looks like Rich is also going to get super missiles, which is going to hopefully lead him towards that um, that Wab beam, Wab A beam. The downside is with supers open, he might go to Torvus, which would not give him wave beam early. We'll see what he does with that. The upside is if he goes to Taurus and finds ice, that might be helpful as well. Brush moving through a gun, heading towards that elevator. Wabay beam. Considering we have a required Omega Pirate and we still have not seen Ice Beam, I'm a little terrified. I think Jay's just vibing. I am not familiar with the trick that Jay is doing. If he's doing a trick. Once again, we have a double out of bounds. Skipping Ice Beam to get far fan. That's what I thought. It looked like he was standing still for a long time, though, so I wasn't sure if he was just waiting on something. Might be watching a video to see uh, where he needs to be standing.
It's like Rich is gonna. Right, right. Welcome back. Didn't miss a whole lot. I know. Jay's still out of bounds in quarantine. <laughs> yeah. What is bro doing right now? Oh, that's cool. BSJ to get out of bounds in the uh, elevator room. Yeah. Skipping seekers, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Jay finally made it on top of uh, Quarantine Cave. Probably trying to load the other room, I assume. Got a translator hit that he no longer needs. Thanks, Echoes. Minute down. Rip. Jay has, Jay has gone and committed down. Your TV's playing in the background again. So that's up. Yeah. Seekers is in Torvis. Okay. That sounds like either <laughs> Plaza access or could be Plaza, could be Lower Torvis. Plaza is my least favorite place in this game. Yeah. Oh, it's the latest screw attack puzzle. Plaza just gives me PTSD. That too. Looks like we're going to lower Torvis though, which honestly kind of makes sense with the uh, gravity yeah, boost. Yeah, we do have gravity boost. Yeah. Yeah. We get an ice beam on blog. That'd be bad. 
Oh, Plaza and Prime 1 is, like, solid. Echoes, no. Still potential for Gerbil Guardian. Uh, Gerbil Guardian is uh, Artifact Remember. That's right, I forgot about that. There it is! Torvus Lagoon. Four, uh, three rooms away? Is that what it say? Up to three, yeah. Up to three. That is Plaza Access. <laughs> yeah, Plaza Access. Is that likely everybody checked the other ones? And bro, I was gonna head straight for that. Which, Rich is actually not far from that. Ironically, his yet to find Wave Beam either. Yeah. But at least Ice Beam would give some checks for Soren. Rich just got the hint for the translator, which he knows at this point has to be Cobalt. Yeah. I don't think he'll act on that, though, because I don't know what Cobalt would actually open for him. Um, Cobalt would open up... If he had Light Suit, which is we know is Quad, it would open up a second map, but what he has now will probably Steve, uh, Spider Guardian, or just hints for Cobalt. Hmm. That is a both player pickup. Ooh. That is beam ammo. Nice. That was a good pick. I actually am not sure if Bro grabbed that or not. I don't think so. Uh, no, because he doesn't have it. My screen is unfortunately a little fuzzy. And 11, oh my god, double multiplayer next back to back. Okay. We no longer need ammo on anymore. Rich's hand. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Jay knows Ice is coming at this point, so he's probably going to stand by. Looks like he's going to head to Far Talon, and then probably break into... Uh, mines, yeah, do. Mines. Far is kept to mines. So I assume we'll just check uh, a couple things in Upper Mines and head to Lower, since he doesn't have Waybeam. Oh, no, he does have Waybeam. What am I doing? Soaring doesn't have Waybeam. Yeah, clearly we need to have uh, whoever's in BK literally just video log themselves going to BK. Yeah, it is uh, unfortunate for Bro, but at the same time, I think he's actually doing okay on ammo, so it should be okay. Probably would like more missiles, but... A few more missiles should be fine. Maybe some more light ammo. That should be good. Yeah. I believe the um, if I remember correctly, the unlimited ammo or uh, missiles wise is good for uh, the final dark samus fight. Uh, yeah. Since you don't have to worry about um, keeping ammo track for trying to do the DS4 skip. Hmm. percent. Jay doing my favorite uh, room in the game. Or not Jay, uh, bruh. Bruh, yeah. Jay's doing my other favorite room in Prime. <laughs> yeah. Life Grove is not my favorite place to have Danny to go to. Dan Jay has committed downs yet again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a cool bomb jump. I never considered that. I always just drop down early and then climb up the left side. Yeah. Browse missed. Yeah, All right, so we, what we got? After a long BK phase, I think we're finally going to start to see some movement. Oh. Yeah, he's getting tunneled. Expansion. Measle. Also, it looks like we have a high five from Bro and Rich. Yeah. Which could be good. Does that lead to ice beam? Oh, he already has it. Well, I've double access. damage. Okay. 
Okay. All the little, multiplayer little pickups and Torvus. Clown. Yeah. Torvus was holding all the cards. Anthony. I don't know why I did Might as well when grab he's browser I got six. Save Jay gets his first try. Very nice. I hate that jump. Yeah, bro, I decided to go to Bruce. Oh, I mean, we cast Bruce. Bruce Gardner, so. Yeah, it's required. It makes sense to do it while you're here. Or to the half pipe, so. Yeah. It's got PBs as well, no reason not to. Jay's gonna go ahead and do some bar skippage. Nice. Second try. And then bar skip skip. It is not the half pipe, so it is Boost Garden himself. And Bro doesn't have a PB. Uh, he does have double damage at least, but he does not have the element yeah, of Yeah, If he out. had Sunburst, that'd be good. Let's see if the. Hey, the Puffers came in. Nice. Coming in clutch. Dark Puffers came in clutch, yeah. God bless Echo Drops. Yeah. Yeah, Rich is probably not going to go back to Aegon for a while, which is unfortunate. Especially with how loaded Tovas has been and how much you can do here. The upside is Soaring does have Ice Beam, but... Yeah. It limits what he can do with that wave. I mean, he gets to do far Talon and whatnot. And he can reverse Ma, I forget. Supposedly we know how to do that. Yeah. It doesn't have gravity, though. But I believe at this point, Jay has everything he needs to beat his game. You just gotta steamroll and get all his artifacts. Bruh, what does Echoes need? They still need Seekers, right? Seekers, yeah. Seekers and he's lacking two visors. I don't remember the hints, so I can't remember what he needs. Ice was uh, Plaza Access. Neat little location for that. Yeah, we had a hint in. Uh... Yeah, at this point, I think okay. Bro is just double checking hints, making sure because if he doesn't need either of his visors, they're in go mode and then grab the rest of their stuff. Yeah. We do need secrets if I must be, unless he knows the secret gap on that. We're done about it, he might. Woo! It's Annihilator being for bro. Did we get a hint for that earlier? Uh, no we didn't. That was a double damage, that should make the rest of the game quite easy. Yeah. And uh, bro decided to go back to Dormus Grove to get the other two multiplier pickups, and he's pretty much set. Alright, no hints for Prime. I for Gore. Yeah. I think... Hints for Prime and Echoes would be interesting. Time for Philip. Get to see some headbanging action. Yeah. He's gonna headbang to his death. Oh, 
Oh, does Bra need light suit? I don't think that there was anything locked by light suit. Uh, I'm to think. Nothing I'm gonna know of. The quad is yeah. the light suit, though. Might not be required. Okay, Brow's backed up his other two multipliers, so. I think the only case that would be required is if, like, Seekers was locked by light suit. Yeah. Which. I mean, it's in Horvath somewhere, so. Yeah, that is slightly terrifying. Huh? now, as we've seen. Yeah. And there was no light suit checks in lower Torvis, so. At least not uh, light Torvis wise, so. What's the one near, like, Dark Torvis entrance where you have to dip into the, the poison water? Poison and then, Bog? Yeah, the, the ink. Oh, we know the cache. secret hint was in Light Torvis, so. Oh, it was in Light Torvis, okay. Yes, there's a Torvis Bog, so it's light only. Is, I, I was, I was theory have crafting. Seen in the bog, though. Oh, yeah. That could be bad. Or Gathering Hall, which is even worse, since you have to do the spider tracks. Okay, so light suit should technically not be required. Well, yep, there's the quad hinge. That was a very nice, uh... Bomb jumping life grove tunnel by uh, soaring there. I'm nice. terrible at that. That was good. Yeah, I don't think there's any keys locked by light suit. So at this point, the only yeah, thing that would keep so yeah. yeah, the only thing that would keep light suit um, in play would be progression locked by light suit, which I don't yeah. think is. I'm trying to. Yeah, this is the worst half pipe for sure. Ah, okay, so we have Seekers. Okay, Seekers is in Training Chamber. This is literally the room where Bra is in. So it's Seekers. Be for Bra, just be key hunting. Yep. Now I'm doing Bra, just key hunting to get the final bosses. Jay's going to steamroll his way through lore mines. Probably going to be doing checks, I assume. Does visors help echoes at all at this point? Does it make anything quicker? Um, I don't think so, right? Not really. Yeah. I mean, it helps for the Dark Samus 3 fight, but... At least know where Dark Samus is, but on that, not really. Yeah, we have no visors at this point. Except for Prime. D. But Prime's visors are really late at the beginning. <laughs> I mean, to be honest, we also need Echo for Quad if we need the light suit, which we don't, so. Like, I kind of want light suit to be required, but I don't know how much pain I want to wish on these guys. A little surprised that Soaring isn't doing bar skip with the uh, spring ball. Yeah. I well, personally find it much easier. Yeah, that was close. Long lighting though. Okay. Jay's got some nice little sh movement through this room as he comes down. Oh yeah, Richard doesn't have key hints yet. Oh, that's true, yeah. Ready. 
This seems kind of gnarly. Yeah. Yeah, at this point, th that's the only way the seed gets worse is if light suits required. Yeah, I find it interesting, like, watching people do bar skip. Because I think everyone does it slightly different. My, for me, I learned it with spring ball, and I've kind of, like, broke on that muscle memory and relearned it with regular bombs. Yeah. Spring ball, you kind of want to be in a different spot, different camera angle. Yeah. Ooh. Jay falls victim to the Torquing Metroids. Yeah, for me personally, I, I'm not super confident on bar skips, so I probably would have opted to go through um, the other elevator. Yeah. Which also lets you check plasma, plasma processing on the way. Oh, he doesn't have ice. Or, uh, wave. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't have wave. He does have to do this. That's why he's here. I, I was curious. I was yeah. trying to think in my head. That was an interesting way to get uh, on the mushrooms there from Jay. I usually do a slope jump right next to the excellent. Nice little combat dash. Does MQB have anything? Nope. Alright, time for Omega Pirate. Let's have a good clean fight, nice one cycle. Yep. Yeah. Hopefully a silly item is behind him. I'm gonna call it Buster. <laughs> Bustin'. Oh, gravity suit, that'd be even funnier. Oh god. Gravity suit would be funny, Ice Buster, Wave Buster. Oh, a little early on the PB. We've not seen pirates get here. Power pirates. Ugh, power pirates. I guess not too bad. Oh, not we got terrible. the... Got the doubler with it. Thought the other one didn't die, he's just... Like have health. Yeah, I usually hope for plasma pirates. I'll have a charged plasma getting. You can delete them pretty quick. I believe ice pirates is best considering you just free them and then missile them. That's true. I think it's ice and power then plasma and then wave. Also, we were focusing a bit on the uh, prime fight, but uh, soaring did get the bar skip. That was good. Yeah. <clears throat> Managing to break into. Mines without wave. Uh, he needs wave to get into mines this way because Quarry is a wave lock. Is it? Yes. Front door is wave. I always thought it was ice. Oh uh, yeah, he just realized. At least the way is open now because he does have boost pull. He would have to go through yeah. uh, PPC to get there, and he also needs wave for that too. Still so. a good bar skip though. I think at this point, if I was him and I had nothing else to do, I'd probably just go check cargo freight lift. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Dark Visor. Dark Visor? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for some reason, I always thought the front door to mines was ice. It's 
So yeah, Soren doesn't have any way to get to um, mines oh, without wave. Okay, I got part one. Nice boost baller. Nothing. Woo. Oh, I almost had a first try. Hydro access tunnel takes another victim. <laughs> it's surprising how often hydro access tunnel literally has nothing. Yeah. A lot of times it has something, but a lot of times it does have nothing. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen progression there, personally. I've seen progression quite a bit there from there. Oh. Well, lovely. Nice! Okay, cool. It's just got one more and it'll be out of a uh, hat. Some pretty solid play from Soaring. Oh, how's this room without gravity? I need to learn this, actually. I just have it's not wanted not to. Bad, but it's a bit tricky. Yeah. During the out of bounds, to get to uh, Havjara. Nice. Yeah, I guess for anyone new coming in, basically uh, we got Bra and Jay on the left side, who are pretty much just doing cleanup at this point and getting keys. Um, on the right side, we've been kind of stuck on Waybeam, which is currently in Aegon, which Rich has not come back for yet since he's still in. Um, Corvus after finding progression there. I don't really blame him. It makes sense to do all these all the stuff here first. I do not believe we have Sonic Boom. Yeah, Echo's wise the only progression that we have not seen is Echo. I will say, without knowing like a fair amount of tricks, the seed is pretty awful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed with uh, Soaring's trick knowledge here. Yeah. I need to go learn some stuff. Soren is out spamming the B button to get a clip off to the platform up here. Invigorating gameplay. Yeah. Yeah, for most of the seed, he's been trickless, so it seemed to not only nail bar skip, but also start to do uh, frigate reverse without gravity. Pleasantly surprised. Migs. Bruh's fighting quad. <laughs> oh yeah, I guess he is getting his light too, because why not? Interesting choice. Does he need this? Or is no. it you can just do the fight pretty quick? Yeah.
Well, we got our quad. I'm happy. Yeah. Uh, if only he could fight chicken for fun. Oh, that's true. Unlimited beam ammo plus double damage. Yeah. Yeah, with an eyeliner as well, they just. Laura fight just ends quickly. Quick, DM bro, tell them to do chicken next. I mean, Ruby, with the equipment, it's actually not too bad for Chica. Oh, it's Uh, does Rich still have Cannonball? He might? I don't know if he lost that one of the cannons in Torvus. Uh, Thorin never picked it up. He never got No, he ever. did. He did. Oh, did he? Yep. Uh, I don't know he if he still it has it, though. Yeah, he, I'm pretty sure he probably lost it. It is possible he skipped the cannons in Torvus using uh, Screw Attack, but I'm not positive. It was like 30 minutes ago. I mean, the Lord Heart is one that's going to get rid of it. It's just the one in Gathering All that does. Yeah, that's what I was referring to. I don't know if he's there or not. Oh, Echo was in... Um... Biohazard. Law. Biohazard. Interesting. That's garbage. Yeah. Unfortunately for Rich, that actually is going to be a bit of a red herring. If they try to do Echo checks, that's actually going to be bad for them. Yeah. Yeah, he is so far away from the hang on. Also, it looks like Bra left quad mid fight. I assume he realized because he didn't need light suit or something. Not sure what the reason for that uh, was. I think it was doing it to get around so it can get to ATS faster. Gotcha. Slap around quad a little bit and then leave. Doesn't elaborate. Yeah, that was the inbound quad skip. Quads like, why do I hear boss music? Meme key. So the stream's a little fuzzy for me, so I can't see the actual count, but how many uh, SDKs and artifacts do we have remaining on the left side here? So we gotta be getting pretty close. In fact, it looks like Jay's heading towards uh, Artifact Temple, I assume because he doesn't have anything left in his game. SDKs and artifacts were stacked pretty heavily on Echo's side. I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me, and I can leave at yeah. any time. Yeah. Oh, that's right, he did the early reset, so Jay actually doesn't have hints. I wonder if he's going back for hints because they didn't know where a certain artifact was. Maybe. It's either that or they did know where all the artifacts was. I, I think Jay might have written them down. He was in BK for a while and he, say, he yeah. was going through his artifacts, yeah. Although it was pretty early when he reset. Nah, he probably knows where they all are. Yeah, at this point he's just waiting for us as artifacts. Bro's clean doing cleanup. Speaking of, Rich is getting his hints right now. I am definitely looking forward to this post game interview, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> 
very curious on what their thoughts was other than they hated the scene. I think Jay's gonna have very specific words. Yeah. I'm sure Team GFMC is definitely uh, scratching their heads on where that wave beam is. Has been kind of like the thorn on their side for the most of this uh, race. It's not very often you see wave beam locking pretty much the entirety of the game. Usually it's your yeah. weight on ice. Yeah. I had not uh, considered how much that actually blocks off on its own. Ow. Yeah, high five from uh, from the Ember's being thing. Nice. Yeah, we have we have a high five from the prime players, both in pause screens. Not anymore though. <laughs> pause high five. Uh, yeah, I don't think we've seen a hint for wave. No, we have not. It's just really hurting Soren right now. Yeah. The issue, too, is it's in, um... I can't remember the name of the room. It's in... Yeah, Storage C and Aegon, which I think that's, like, one of the few remaining hints there, or checks there, so... Either he's just going towards the areas with more items, or he may have forgotten about it. I think it's more plausible he probably uh, was just going towards the places with more checks. Yeah. Yeah. He did get the Cobalt hint, so he does know that uh, Cobalt's in sync entrance. This seed, unfortunately, does have quite a few red herrings of items that are not required that yeah. put up checks that you do not need to do. Yeah, that cobalt, the light suit. Uh, two visors, so it's definitely red herring. Yeah. You think Jay's still gonna do exoskip? Bro, was grabbing those last few required items, and Rich yeah. is still looking for progression. Yeah, oh! Like head back to Aegon, so we might get yeah. that wave beam finally. He might be going in that direction. I don't know what checks he has left on Aegon, so I'm not sure what his thought process is and what he's heading for. Yeah. Secrets, you know, get the mine station B and storage A as well. My guess is he's probably gonna head for the SDK first because he knows it's there. Yeah. That makes sense to me anyway. This is a pretty disgusting spot for Wave Beam. Yeah. All right. Artifact Truth, the best artifact. 
I do not make the rules. That's just how it is. <laughs> yeah, it does, in fact, look like that uh, Rich is going to be heading towards that STK. Yeah. And away from Wavebeam. <laughs> Jay's getting a little antsy, waiting for his artifacts. <laughs> Looks like Soren's plotting out his route as soon as he gets a yeah. wave beam. Because I believe he uh, did get the hint for the SDK in, uh, was that Frost Cave? Or was that a artifact? I don't remember. One of the two. So he's probably going to head there first. Yeah. Something interesting I'll note is we still have not seen Gravity Suit. I don't know. That was the animal. Good to know. Okay, good. He killed the Kraylee. I was say, if that didn't die, it would have died to the Kraylee. I'm mean, sad. Yeah. Door cannot be opened with the equipped weapon. So, looks like we're sort of coming to a close. At this point, I'm wanting to see if Rich and Soaring are going to get that wave beam. Hey, Derek, how the earth track? Oh, we're not going to see Dave here. Rip Dave. Uh, Rich might be going towards... This is totally an animal scam for what the trick is called, so... What does bro do this out of bounds for? Oh no. Oh, and that's a, uh... Oof. Jay is one artifact short, by the way. Yeah. Oh, uh, that was a dolphin. That was the Tendo. That was console crash. I don't know. When yeah, I don't know when he last saved. I'll have to worry more about his SDKs than anything else. Yeah. If you can get his last artifact for Jay, he can finish this game. So I believe he's at eight. I can't read that too well. Uh, I. I think he was, I don't remember, if he was going straight to landing side or going the other way. Got some unfortunate technical difficulties on Bro's side. It does look yeah. like uh, Rich is heading towards that wave beam. Not quite there yet, but in the right direction. I can 
Robert and Seth can chat. <laughs> we haven't done the seat to shake their hand. Yeah, it looks like a wave is coming up finally. Soaring is about to be a very, very happy man. Yeah. I will say, there's been some cool stuff in this uh, race, though. Seeing yeah. Bro go out of bounds to get that wave beam was cool. Uh, right, watching Soren um, do the bar skip into the reverse for Get Without Gravity it was neat. I was not expecting that. Yeah. All right, wave beam for Soren is inbound. Although they don't know it. Yeah. I really wish we could get a live reaction of them seeing this wave beam two and a half hours into the seed. Too much. Yeah, worst case scenario, he just has to worry about the last artifact and the rest of those SDGs. Yeah. Was he at five out of nine? Um, five out of nine. Uh, I think he's. I love five. It's kind of hard to tell. Yeah. I love five or eight. I can't quite tell. And wave beam. <laughs> Internal screaming commences. Oh, Bra's dying. Okay, so yeah, Bra's got all of it. You think that's oh, okay. Artifact? Gotcha. Okay, he's just gonna get the last artifact. Yeah, with uh, Wave Beam now in tow, Spring can now do the entirety of his game. Yeah, that's the unfortunate part. Is Wave ha or uh, Spring now has a very large chunk of his game to do. Um, Depending on how they ride it, though, uh, yeah, big part of it is gonna be based around. Is that don't... are they in go mode? What was Annihilator beam? Uh... I don't remember. Oh, it was storage B. Storage B or storage A? Uh, it's it's on flamethrower. It was deep away. Deep away, that's what I was thinking of. So. If Soren goes straight for mines, they'll be in uh, basically go mode and they can kind of. Oh, it is Rico. You are right. I've been yeah. reading it wrong this entire time. I believe the Annihilator was required. Wasn't there an SDK locked in uh, Lower Torvus or something? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, uh, maybe I'm wrong. Looks like we got Bruh and Jay on final bosses. Honestly, I'm just happy for GFMC that they found that way beam. <laughs> Nothing's worse than uh, being locked by progression the entire seed and never finding out where it is until after the race.
Very clean Ridley fight for MJ. Yep. No dashes. Oh, it's good to see. It's like, sorry, the guy that was afraid on suit. I think that crash goes to show that it's like it definitely is important to save your game as often as possible. Yeah. Even if you're avoiding deaths, like crashes and stuff can happen. Yeah. So, anyone in chat who is uh, in the tournament, something that something you already do, make sure you uh, save game often every time you can. Can make or break races sometimes. Ooh, Jay is doing exoskip. Just waiting for Phil to get up there. Gonna wait for the positioning here. Oh! I have not seen the Metro do that before. Yeah. Yeah, Jay has been practicing this quite a bit, so I'm not surprised that all the same go for it. Yeah. Time for bro. Yeah, bro's gonna finish up with a two thirty eight thirty. Yep. Not bad considering how awful the seed was. Yeah. All right, Jay is out of bounds. This is where the fun begins. So I think at this point we're pretty much just waiting for uh, Jay to finish this boss's soaring and Rico are gonna try to clamp as best as they can until they see the GG's I think. For anyone curious, the uh, next race coming up is gonna be on Monday. No races tomorrow, it looks like on the schedule at least. Unless something gets thrown up last minute, but I don't think so. Yeah. But yeah, there'll be a race on Monday, 6.30 EST PM. And then uh, there'll be another one on Tuesday at 3.30 p.m. Which I think you're in. Uh, I'm on the Tuesday one. It's my first Yee. one. Yep. Got some good quality races coming.
Yep, the tournament has only started just recently, so a lot of races coming up. I'm pretty excited. Yeah. This is so funny seeing Exo skip. So I love how the music doesn't change and you just see it kind of like Exo just stomping around up there. Yeah. Subchamber and Jeru have the exoskip. And there we go. Jay hits the cutscene trigger and is now on Essence. Yep. Got both visors, so that should be a pretty quick th three cycle. Nice and easy. Yeah, Essence is in not a good spot right now. Ooh, yep. We never did find that gravity suit, by the way. I wonder where that was. Yeah. It must have been somewhere really silly. It's gonna be like high ventures or something. It's gonna be vanilla. Oh, yeah. Uh. Unless... Did we see Farfen? I thought we saw Farfen. Oh, he just Unless he just. I, I think Jay just checked part of Farfen to grab the artifact on the left, so it's very yeah. possible it could have been. I don't know if he peeks off in the gravity there. I think he came from, so I don't know. Oh, Soaring just came from there, so probably not. Yeah, it wasn't. And it looks like Jay has finished on uh, race time, at least. Yeah. And it's like Rico and Torn are going to DNF. Yeah, hopefully I see the credits. I really want to know where that gravity was. It'd be funny if it was light suit locked. Wasn't required at all, but... It's got frost cave and dipped, yeah. GG's. Good race, ugly seed. All right, while they wrap up, get things figured out, see if we can get them in here for an interview if we have time for yep. that. I assume we do. Okay. I was going to get Brian. GG today? Hello, GG. Hello. Oh my Jesus. I <laughs> so that's the Is that your reaction to the scene? I felt 
so behind because of that ice cream. You know that ice cream is so late. Yeah, that ice beam was definitely rough. How about that wave beam, though? Well, uh, I can just say my teammate is a god. <laughs> yeah. Like, he was, let me just casually just for a second secret one or two stars. Oh my god, it's wave beam. So, for reference, they didn't find the wave beam until 15 minutes ago. Yeah. Oh. They just found it, yeah. Uh, just because of how the progression worked that. out. Yeah. So, the funniest thing was after that ice, uh, after that wave beam, once I entered BK, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just for fun, uh, let me just for fun do IBBF because maybe anti chamber has ice beam vanilla. And I walked into Hall of the Elders, was like, wait, what is that item? Oh my god, it's Phaser. Yeah, the Phaser is <laughs> yeah. That was a very good grab. Yeah, that was like, that was a free grab, not gonna lie. But holy moly, the seed. Yeah, so, there, there there is some spicy stuff. So that early wave beam was very powerful for me because it kept me moving. Like, it didn't give me into immediate BK, but I was also immediately able to do out of logic checks. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure to kill Flagra before because we only had Amorbus and Flagra left as progression. Fun fact, both had progression. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah GG we were talking about that too. Yeah, Soaring actually did uh, Flagra before you did. Yeah. And I'm finding that spider here, wondering if that was going to pay off at all. Uh, it could, it might have, depending on bra finding progression, that maybe had actually, that would have maybe actually had a bigger impact on the game because I would have been more likely to last location spider on Flagra. And given that, like, the only person that was, uh, the uh, like the only check in the game that is hardcore spider locked is like rune fountain so that spider really came in handy at that point yeah let's see if i can... were you guys worried about white suit being required at all no at any point no because bra got the hint earlier that lights is on quad so if we needed it if we would have needed it it would have been an easy grab yeah, that's fair. Like, at the end, once we got the artifacts and the SDKs, we were like, okay, we're Ice Beam, and we didn't even have Annihilator, but we were able to... So we would have been able to skip Annihilator and Echo entirely. We were, like, ready to just go. And then... <laughs> and the funniest thing was... uh. <clears throat> Once we've, once I've entered lower mines, I was like, "Oh my god!" Just imagine Dark Visor being in PCA. Yeah. <laughs> so I walk. Yeah. We... Oh my god, bro! You're not gonna believe what is in front of me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a pretty good chuckle out of that because we were wondering if there was gonna be something silly behind OP. Oh, Ellen Chamber Gravity. Oh god. That's where it was. We were oh, just talking about that. It was like, where was Gravity? Echo... Echo was somewhere accessible, I think. Where was Echo again? So that was Far uh, Farchozo double suit. Uh. Oh damn it. Uh, yeah. Uh, if I didn't work. Give me a second. I'm on it. All right, this happened with mine, so you might have to control R until it works. To refresh Discord. I'm on it. I'm on it. Uh, Let's see if we can get everyone else in here. I'm actually very curious on what uh, GFMC's thoughts are on the seed because right. they're uh, probably Echo not very good. Biohazard. Oh yeah, Echo was in Biohazard, which was also something for its own. So logically, we would have needed to grab Elder Chamber. Yeah, Hello. Bro. Hello. Okay, we got it to work. Alright, bro, what are your thoughts on this seed? Uh, that was not a good seed. <laughs> hey, at least you got the wave. 
Yeah, that was that was very lucky. Like I was like, it'd be it'd be really crazy if there's something here in Storage C. So I'm gonna check it, and then I'm like, oh hey, there's Wave Beam. <laughs> like, and the fact that we also, uh, Jay was gonna just do uh, was just gonna do Vanilla Ice Beam inbounds, but then I was, but then we were like, yeah, we should do IBBF to see what's in uh. Tall of, the Tall of the Elders, and then it's just phase on two. We found two items from just going out of bounds and randomly checking things. Yeah, pretty strong. Strong ones, too. The hilarious thing was once, uh, I'm still pretty annoyed that I fell down and um, while walk rolling through Fen. Yeah, yeah, we did see that. It's the last door that, uh, like, the door to the, tra uh, to the elevator can really screw you because it's such a giant ether box. Are we able to get uh, invites for Soaring am... and uh, Riku? I am trying. This would work. Oh. Also, bro, the uh, quad cameo was appreciated. <laughs> I mean, I was like. I'm picking up Hive Gyro. I kind of forgot that there was an SDK in. Uh, I forgot there's an SDK there in ATS. And I'm like, well, the fastest way to get to AATS is just going to be to go through quad. So. <laughs> get a second I, phase or whatever. I wasn't sure if you could do it to get to ATS doing like a. Inbound squad skip to get to ATS, but you can. Uh, yeah, that was cool. Today. I've never seen that before. So I thought I would just have to fight quad, but you know I didn't. I mean, I wouldn't have. I would have gotten light suit. So even if I had to actually fight quad, it still would have been fine. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna ping a volunteer and see if someone else can fix it. I tried to send an invite, but the bot isn't working. Yep, bot trouble. I my invite from the commentating with mugged out. I had to keep uh, till Ring to refresh it to fix it. And then it worked. If that's what Sam told me to do. Yeah, I had issues with this yesterday as well. So, the most hilarious, or like the most hilarious and at the same time painful thing was while Brad told me. Like, I, we were in stress because I was still missing, like, every artifact. I had, like, two artifacts when we entered go mode. So I was like, okay, bro, we, now we just gotta hunt down my artifacts. Okay, let me get a safety save here in Aegon. Because I'm not gonna get a ship save anyway. And then bra crashes after picking up my artifact and we're like, yeah, well, that... we're really lucky that you took that save, huh? I don't know what we caused were that. I don't know what caused that crash. Um, yeah, the thing is the landing site load is what causes it, it's what Shorts mentioned. Well, I don't. Landing site shouldn't have loaded there. Like I've done that wall crawl, yeah, hundreds of times, and I've never crashed there before in my life. So I genuinely do not know what caused that crash. Thankfully, I took that save, but that was well, weird. I was lucky that uh, GMFC didn't crash for you not doing the cutscene. Um, I mean, I think that only happens if you dupe the item uh, after picking up. Like, if you pick up the item on the ship and then do the cutscene, then it'll crash. But I never did the cutscene, so. I mean, I've I picked up the item without doing the cutscene. I went to Grand Windchamber that crashed on the way. So, I don't, I don't know. think it matters. It's just a higher but... chance to crash if you don't do the cutscene. Eh, well, also, I'm on console, so it's pretty also... chill. Yeah. <laughs> Bra crashes and then Bra's we decides to give Bra hang skip. Yeah, I don't even. That was also oh, yeah. very weird. Like, <laughs> excuse me, we have a bit of time pressure right here. <laughs> yeah, it was. Not only did the game crash, but then my Wii also immediately crashed afterwards. I had to hold down the power button for like seven seconds or however long it is to reset it. So the most annoying thing was me doing. I like to do Arbo Chamber out of bounds without space jump and more uh, with uh, with space jump but no more no bombs. Oh yeah! And then we did this and then only 
And in the same moment I do it and I pick up the item, I just see Cannonball, like, uh, send Cannonball to Bran. We are like, ooh, that's, that's not optimal. <laughs> yeah, that was rough. We saw that pop up and we're like, well, we hope that's not needed later. At least they gave you like an early boost. Yeah, and had I needed cannon, I could have gotten it pretty early. Just going to Sank, since we had early power bombs and light beam, it wouldn't have been too bad. But boost was just in uh, uh, Rune Fountain anyway, so. How do you guys feel about your routing for this obnoxious seed? Uh, I feel pretty strong on my side, to be honest. So, mm -hmm. technically, OP was only required, but I decided to just clear uh, all of mines in case I find Dark Visor. We turned out having Annihilator, which made us even... Which opened the opportunity to even do the quad hallway, basically. Yeah, so that was good. Without, so that was actually really good for our routing review in this post-race. Yeah, that uh, that dark visor was something. I found. I oh found yeah. <laughs> kind of, I felt kind of debated when I got the plasma. And I was like, "Oh, Chosu Ice Temple. We never checked it." And then I go there and I find flamethrower. I felt kind of trolled. <laughs> yeah, I was honestly on the edge of my seat because uh, I was sitting here thinking like, <laughs> if uh, plasma locks uh, super missiles, that would have been pretty gnarly for progression. Yeah, I it could have. Where, I can't even remember anymore where, uh... I don't even remember anymore where Echo Supers were. They were in Plane of Dark Warship. Oh, and yeah. I oh should, yeah. I should have gone there earlier. I don't know what I was doing. That's that's the main issue I have with my routing, was the fact that I, I didn't go to Pod W before uh, going to Torpus. Because if you have everything you need for Pod W, the chances are, I mean, it's it's usually something. It's like Tower of Light. Like, it, it's very common to see progression there. And I just didn't check it, and I don't know why. Um, and that yeah. would have saved a lot of time, because I would have immediately gotten ice while I was there in Torpus for the first time. The funniest thing, in my opinion, was, like, we were... I was sitting there in Beacon, I was like, bruh, you need to go for checks. Yeah, just go relax. I'm gonna go for the hints, and the hints are sure gonna tell me where Ice Beam is. And then he was right next to Ice Beam, goes into Lower Torvus, oh look, I was right next to Ice Beam. Uh, you have Ice Beam in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> if it wasn't for that hit, you would have probably last locationed it. Yeah, oh, yeah. the hints yeah. were also not the good this scene. That would have made the wave beam logical. Uh, that was the thing I was hanging up on was you guys got Waybeam early, but then I was sitting there like, what makes this logical? Like, where, what is the actual logical progression here? This looks awful. Like, it was uh, Amorbus into... Well, no, start my, beam to get to Pod W part? for the Light Beam. Well, the Battleground for Dark part? Suit, and then get to but, Pod yeah, W. Yeah, exactly. Pod oh, but, that made you, that, but that meant you actually needed to dip into... Uh, into Dark Labs from Dark Labs side and just go back from Warrior Shrine because you can't pass the You could have also gotten all the Prime Beams in any order. Like, had you just routed the right way, you might have gotten them in the complete opposite order that I did or any order really. Yeah. This is one of those seeds that feels like it kind of punishes you for doing the logical things of like going for the areas that have more checks. So it required mm -hmm. a couple of last locations. Yeah. But like that cannonball was like, ooh, we might have wanted that to go out of logic. And then I see Boots and Room Fountain. Well, if you get me a spider, I can give you a cannonball at home. Um, I, but I have to say, my movement for like the first three quarters of the seat was really good. But ever, I think, especially, I think I could, you can also see this on restream. The closer we got to go mode, the more shaky I got in my movement. And yeah. The, and the um, even more harder it got for me to actually perform movement tricks anymore. How'd you feel about the? Uh, I think it was you that was got hung up on the. Pirates a little bit in labs. Oh yeah. 
Let's say <laughs> that Ethan was probably Tyra are... a little frustrating. Ethan, I was, I was real, I was, uh, yeah, he was real good upset. In German. <laughs> 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 I was really mad at that, but Ether and Hydra are just two of my most hated rooms to go fast through. Because Hydra has the turret, if you want to go fast, the turret can actually still deal damage. And a good, a good amount of damage. Oh. And once we had entered essentially Ice Beam Go mode, I had figured that um, we're probably going to have a hint for Dark Visor if it's in Echoes. And if it's not, it's probably in Prime. Thank And I did all my, pretty much all my Violet hints, Amber and uh, uh, Emerald hints, and I didn't find one. So I was like, I mean, it's going to be in Jay's game, most likely. Especially since Jay hasn't had regression in like an hour, so yeah, uh, yeah. How about that so, cobalt, by the way? That was actually pretty nice because I was like, oh hey, you know, cobalt, I can get the hint here now. <laughs> yeah, wasn't that the hint that led to what? What that lead to? That led to something. I think that hint was just confirming that uh, Quadrex has had light suit. Oh no, that was the oh, one yeah. for uh, supers, I think. Um, well, Schwartz, I don't, you can force load that room and have it not crash. Like, you can force load and then let the room, uh, just load around you. Which is what I, it's, it, that's what I always do, and I, I'm perplexed by that crash. So I, I don't usually hit that load trigger, though. I usually just force load. And it I has just... always worked. I just have to say I'm sorry for not going for my favorite trick in the game, that is walking up the spider track in furnace. But uh that BSJ was just too stylish. <laughs> also, hey hey, exoskip with IUJ. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah, that was a great exoskip. That was actually pretty clean, yeah. The pay I'm gonna good. I'm gonna look back at the VOD later. I wanna see how long that took. <laughs> It that took was a bit like... longer because Jack wasn't cooperating at first. That was like five minutes, five and a half minutes maybe. Yeah, let me see. But still, uh... the practice in general. I've been practicing a lot in the last weeks and I can really see slowly that it's paying off. Yeah, I think honestly that uh, Elder Chamber peak was pretty... I, I've actually not seen the way to get into that little uh, Morph Ball 2 before. I might have to try that. That was pretty cool. It's really easy, you just gotta be careful when going out of the tunnel, because what will normally happen is that you get this cut sequence which pulls you out. But as long as the uh, as long as long the statue isn't turned to that way, you won't get pulled out, so you need to roll through the end of the tunnel, lay a bump, and immediately arm off after bombing out of the tunnel so you don't fall down in ether. Ooh, okay, so your exoscape was 5 minutes, pretty much exactly. That is, uh, and with that it's faster than my exo. Which is amazing. Yeah, that was a great access skip. Hey, there we go. It looks like we're oh. getting everyone else in here. Oh, let's go. Looks like Rico will be here in a moment. Fashionably late. There we go. <laughs> GG. Yeah, no worries. GG's. How do you guys feel about the seed? Oh, that was difficult. That was <laughs> the slowest first 45 minutes of my life. Yeah. So, uh, I was like, first question... Like... Sorry, you go first, Stacky. Oh, I was just gonna say, the first question I have to ask is, what, were your guys, what was your guys' reaction to seeing that wave beam? Oh, it was... I was screaming. Prayers of, please God, don't let them already have it. Like, I, I was <laughs> PK without it for so long, I was like, it just... Let them get it at the same time as us. But well, no, they had it forever. So we had it forever because boy, the one lucky play. <laughs> yeah. So I was going through labs for the first time, and I was like, "Well, Jay, you know what would be really funny is if there was something in storage C. I'm gonna check it out of bounds." So I go out of bounds. I check storage C. Oh, hey, there's wave beam. And then I spend like four minutes trying to actually pick it up because I've never picked up storage C out of bounds before. But I got it eventually. Dang. So, so we had it like 45 minutes in, I think. 
Yeah, and that was already like, I was already full cleared in Chozo when I got that wave beam. I only had like one or two bombs checks left. <laughs> Meanwhile, I immediately found vanilla bombs on Zoid. That's and I am noticing that my name is wrong on this. Oh yeah, that's my bad. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there was a type. There was a typo in. Yep, I and saw Rico and thought rich. rich. I saw Rico and thought rich because that's what it is in Spanish. <laughs> but I, I will have to say there was good. Ahead, that ice beam was kind of trolling because <laughs> we were sitting. I was sitting there and I think for like. So if I look at this, I have one thirty in game time, maybe a one forty five in game time on a two forty five seat. That already says how long I was sitting in BK in the end. Yep. <laughs> like, we were in BK for a long time. I was in BK so long, I did bar skip and reverse gravityless frigate. I was yeah, chat was pretty hype about that, actually. I was about to bring that up. <laughs> People were pretty Just impressed like... with those. Ooh, so you guys found Echo Visor, then? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Echo was a uh, biohazard. Yeah. Yeah, so we read the SDKs and the artifacts, and we were just like, okay, uh... Echo Visor and Eyeletter, who needs that stuff? We're go yeah, mode. I do. We're go mode. <laughs> I mean, all we were like, all we need is Dark Visor. Yeah. And that and then, took a while. <laughs> and then I was like, watch me do OP and get Dark where, Visor in PCA. Where was then, Dark Visor? PCA. It was in PCA. Oh, God. So I did OP. Yeah, it was behind OP. And behind I, OP, yeah. And then I was where was like, Annihilator? Uh, Annihilator where? was on Flame Pro. Flame Pro. So yeah, sort of deeper, right? So they were both in phase on mine. I had no hope of getting you your progression because I didn't <laughs> have wave beam. And that, yeah. was the funniest, yeah. that was the funniest part because uh, I was like, okay, if I only need to do OP, I could go through, I could just go through Magmore. But since we're still missing Dark Wizard, let me full clear mine. So I did the fastest full clear that I've, I feel like ever done in mines. I feel like I was like 15 minutes and I was through mines completely. And then I found this in Island and I was like, oh. Do you still want Annihilator, bruh? Uh, yeah, if you can give me that. <laughs> and then, hey, bruh, watch me have Dark Miser in PCA. Oh my god, <laughs> bruh, that's what I'm standing in front of. <laughs> oh, the there were so phase? many. Oh my god, it's phase on. <laughs> there were so many oh my god moments that we had in this phrase. Yeah. Oh my god, it's waving. Yeah. Oh my god, it's phase on suit. Oh my god, it's Dark Visor. That phase on suit I lucked into and just. I, I almost shrieked. I was like, oh my god, it's phase on Yeah, there were a lot of oh my gods. <laughs> and the thing is, I was on my way to doing Vanilla Ice inbounds, but then I was like, no, you know what? Let me check Hall of the Elders from Out of Bounds. Let me do IBBF. And then I get into Hall of the Elders. Oh my god, it's phase on suit. That's a freebie. <laughs> yep. I think the uh, funniest part was Gravity Suit was about 15 feet away. Yeah. Wait, was that in Elder Chamber? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Correct. Mm. Um, things for me was you go first, bro. Did you guys find uh, ice and plasma before wave? Yes. yes. Yeah, so Wyvern spent the entire time telling me, "Go find my beams. I need my beams. I find plasma. <laughs> That's the wrong beam. I find ice. <laughs> That's plasma the gave wrong me two beam. checks. Plasma gave me two checks. I was like, okay, these are progressions. So I go and I do the top of root cave. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's not anything. And I'm like, oh, so it must be uh, Frozen okay. Chapel. So I go yeah, there. Yeah. Right, yeah. And, and it's a fucking missile, and I'm just like... No, it was Flame Pro. It wasn't even a missile. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was a, mis it was a missile combo. So, I, I, <laughs> I, I may have thrown my controller. <laughs> I, I made my way up to Antichamber, and I was like, okay, I'm a BK. Oh, no, here's Plasma. Okay, that gives me Chapel. Let me go there real quick. And I went all my way to Chapel to get debated by Flamethrower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I saw that reaction, Jay. Yeah, you were kind was, of miffed about that. I was never so <laughs> unhappy hope. about... I was never so unhappy about being, uh... <laughs> <laughs> a build being valid. But the funniest thing was really just, uh... Or the most annoying thing for me. I was thinking, since I'm in BK, what can I do with my time? Hmm. I know the war crawl. I know the war crawl me and Sam back then found to get into late fan without ice beam. I know the secret route out of late fan without ice beam. Let me give this a shot. But instead of using the, uh, instead of using the secret world in root courtyard that me and Sam used back then, 
Let me try to use the TARDIS one. And I got the BSJ, everything went well, I found my way from Quarantine Cape out of bounds. And then on the very last jump, where well, that was the very last difficult jump, after that I would have been saved. I fell down like one of the tunnels where you boost through, and that ether box is as big as GMFC. Yeah. We are pretty big. Yeah, there's no coming back from falling <laughs> down either of those tunnel rooms. Yeah. You're just gone. There's, I can be as good in ether jumping as I want to be. There's no coming up. There's yeah, no, those those ether no bombs are so terrible. There's no prime player that ether jumps so many ether jumps perfectly. And then the boxes are just really so big that I would have to ether jump to the ceiling to actually get to the door. So that was my most hurtful reset. And then it was like, okay, here's Ice Beam. Good. And then I found Dark Miser and was like, okay, bro, we have one problem. That is, you're missing two SDKs. I'm missing seven artifacts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As soon as I hit go mode, I was like, oh, yeah, I could just go and get my artifact and your two keys. And then I could wait by, wait a second, you are missing two items that you need. <laughs> and I have the whole world just opened up as soon as I got wave beam. It was like, oh, we need to, we need to hunt, don't we? Yeah, it was well, logically, like... this is a rough seed. Yeah. Logically, this was a very rough seed. We were lucky that we got like the wave beam so early because that let me move a lot. That also made it less painful to wait for Ice Beam. Yeah, if Ooh. I got Wave Beam earlier, I, I could have been full cleared in waiting. Oh. We just found the French Vanilla Light Suit funny and we were like, okay, so... If Light Suit turns out required, at least we know where it is and we don't need the keys for it. And then Bra I was getting like, Bra was getting like all of his Amovis keys and running close and I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna do Flagra, you're gonna do a Mobus deal. <laughs> and <then> both had progression. <laughs> you didn't get oh. the, the hint for a Morbus? No. No, we got that after it. We uh, got it after it. You yeah. got her Early? head with that because the hint gave her a bit of a lead, and then the wave beam not getting it till like late is what lost it. Yeah. So we were feeling pretty good because of the wave beam, so. We decided since Bra only has one logical check opened, go for a Morbus, and then I got Spiderball and Flagrant and I was like, okay, so a Morbus is not gonna have anything. Now we're talking about, okay, worst outcome is Super Star on a Morbus, because then you guys will have Wave Beam instant. Best yeah. outcome is a Morbus has Dark Beam, because that will open up a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> it was Dark Beam. Yeah, it was Dark, because um, the main ground was the Beam hand for Dark. <laughs> but like, yeah. oh, Worms has a Beam, alright, I think it's Dark. So that would logically give her a lot more checks. Yeah, not having that Amorbus info was tough, because I left yeah. behind sand processing accidentally, and so I had to make a whole loop back to get that, which yeah. lost me a bunch of time as well. I mean, with Worms, you just, want to have we info were, to be able to do stuff. And we were discussing about whether or not to get sand processing, and I was like, okay, do worms, but if you do worms and it's not the progression, you're isolating the check that would have been faster. Yeah. So that was really just a we had no info, so we last location dark. Yeah, game. you will Well, that usually tends to happen though, so. But that also gave us the option to just say, okay, labs is dead. There's just nothing in labs anymore. So we can just continue to the next regions. Yeah, I just. I should have gone to Pot W earlier and gotten the supers. Yeah. And that would have that would have made us so much faster because I would have yeah. gotten an ice beam first pass. Yeah, definitely a rough so. seat for sure. Well, honestly, it could have been a lot worse from my personal experience. <laughs> yeah. Like I had space jump super early, Bra had space jump super early. We were we were vibing. Bra got bombs super early. So we really had like nothing to argue about. I was like, okay. Look, Tower of Light Morph Ball. Lovely. Okay, I got supers. Tree. Oh look your bombs. Lovely. I'm just hunting down progression. I was like, okay. I'm not gonna go for late fan because late fan is dead. And then in the moment I had go mode I realized Gosh damn it, I'm still missing Frost Cave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was the first time I used the fire fence safe station in years, I think. Yeah, you don't end up using that one very often. 
I've used that a couple it's times. It's very late that your last item is there. <laughs> but this was a very, very tough seed for the prime players. <laughs> like those, yeah. the, 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 that logic chain for the beams was just incredible. It so hurt. much BK. Yeah. <laughs> and the thing is, you're not moving until they find like all the beams. I could have walked oh, to Berger King, dude. Yeah, wave an ice. <laughs> <is about the cost>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were saying earlier that you could pretty much just do an IRL stream while waiting for BK to be done. Yeah, I was joking. I was, <laughs> actually, when, I was, I was actually talk, uh, talking with some TOs for fun about it. <laughs> if it wouldn't be funny if we'd allow some BK game to be on the screen in a small corner so you could... So, <laughs> Prime Players and BK, time to put out the Super Nintendo randomizer. <laughs> just play Super Metroid Rando for a little bit while we wait. I was like, I I wonder what if I could just like uh, join the multi world that's happening on the side until I'm not in DK anymore. Oh, play yeah. Metroid on the title screen. <laughs> oh boy, that that essence was. Oh that yeah, annoying. the. That essence was not cooperating, and I knew Bra had finished. And in the moment Bra had finished, and I finished Exoskip, I was I knew we'd won. Like there was no chance that we'd still lose this now. But still, essence was like, you know what? I'm gonna place a cool pool right next to the exoskeleton, and no, I'm not gonna move myself away from here. <laughs> oh, you got pool skipped, like, Neil. I was like, the one I was like skip. poking essence with I was like with hyperbeam poking essence with the stick. Come on, do something, move. <laughs> I just <laughs> not decided to cooperate. Oh gosh, damn it! And I was like, okay, bruh, I'm not gonna do exoskip. My hands are shaking too much. I can't. And then. Five seconds later, Brass sees me setting up Exoskip. Are you doing Exoskip? Oh, uh, yeah. Well, now I, uh, now I don't want to stop anymore. Now I'm already on it. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out no. it was faster than my ex. Uh, it was faster than my Exo. Now I just yeah, feel. I was, now I, was I just really feel worried about now. that Exoskip. I was like, <laughs> if this doesn't go well, we could lose time here. But it that was a really good Exoskip, I have to say. Yeah, that was pretty clean. <laughs> Yeah. The most the most dangerous jump is really just transitioning to sub chamber one, and that is also that was also when I, I could really feel my heartbeat pulsing through my body, because like if you mess it up, you have to do all the setup again. You have to play around with Jack again, get the IOJ again, transition to sub chamber, uh, transition to phase and fusion chamber, and crawl around phase and fusion chamber again. That's like additional three to four minutes time loss. What feels like. I mean, I was nervous throughout all the seed, but I feel like I got even more nervous after I finished because it's like, I can't, like, I can only watch Jay. I can't actually control anything, so I, oh, I just hope that he does good, you What know? do you think how I felt when I was waiting for my artifacts? <laughs> <laughs> and then I crashed, yeah. <laughs> and then you crashed and my heart just skipped a beat. Like, I was sitting there. Constantly being forced to look at the race time and swap, uh, basically look at race time, look at brass room, look at race time, look at brass rooms. Okay, they didn't finish in race time yet. Okay. Oh, what the hell? Why did you crash? <laughs> By the yeah, way, that who, crash was a little nerve wracking. Who gen yeah. the seat? Yeah, good question. Sam. Sam. Sam dude. is fired. Damn, it was, Sam. <laughs> this seat was Sam's revenge on me for the first seat. <laughs> yeah, this Sounds feels like right. a Sam seat to me. It's like, there's nothing about it that you'd hear that location and what's there and think, oh yeah, that's bad. That's like really bad. But then, when you combine it all together, it just doesn't route well. And I feel like that's the way Sam gens a lot of the time. Yeah. So, I'm still annoyed by that jump. I'm gonna practice that wall crawl, because actually that wall crawl is kind of good for multi-worlds. Hmm. <laughs> Like, especially CGC, being able to break into Firefang without Ice Beam is actually kind of huge. Yeah, because, like, had Dark Visor been in, uh, I don't know, say, like, in Frost Cave, or, no, Frost Cave, if it was in, like, Storage Cave or something, we would have gotten that earlier. Yeah. But, like, that is the cool thing about Firefang. If you make it towards the door, the only real problem 
to get into Farfang without Ice Beam is that there's one Ice Beam door. No matter which way you choose, there's one single Ice Beam door blocking you. The rest is all Wake Beam. So if you do go in there, you can do everything in there and you don't even have to learn the secret word out of Farfang because Farfang has a safe station. So you could in theory save well. But I would have been happy to show the secret world on stream because the secret world out of Farfin is lovely. Uh, do you guys know the bamboo in transport access? Like in the room with the ice in Farfin? Where the e tank is in? Yeah. You can charge beam and then jump on top of the bamboo and let the bamboo press you out of bounds. <laughs> and then once the bamboo's out of bounds, Post Sam always calls it, he's going back to his people, to Echoes. <laughs> Because <laughs> that bamboo is just, without pathing, flying into the infinite void. <laughs> and at some point just despawning. <laughs> but yeah, this was... something else. It was oh, definitely a scene. Yeah. <laughs> uh, GG's just... all. Yeah. GG. Yeah, very good game. Don't have Ice Beam BK one hour for Prime again, please, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of space on BK. Oh, you know what? Something we didn't touch on? I completely forgot about until just now. How about that bombs location for Prime? Oh, yeah. Wait, where were they at again? Vanilla. Oh, yeah, yeah they were vanilla. Vanilla. I was like, just glad that neither of us got tripped up on it because so many people will avoid going there because it's a dangerous check to go in. But I way, always yeah. save and then go in there no matter what. Because that can happen. I've like made that a habit of save, go check Zoid, because if it's your bombs and you don't check it, you've boned yourself. Also, yeah. you have a PV expansion. So yep, I've PV seen... One of that is and what he means by made it a habit is he waits until I start yelling at him. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. I mean, I get that, because I've seen races where like we have vanilla bombs... But then the runners spend the whole time going through, like, Fendrana and Mines, and it's not even there. Like, it's just vanilla. That's happened before, so I, I honestly get that uh, decision. So, Brahmi have something similar, actually, but uh, for us it's Flagra. Okay, so I'm running close on BK. Have you fought Flagra yet? No. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that Zoid, I was like, okay, you know what, I have a TV expansion, let me just save, go check Zoid. And then, in the moment I got the, get the death cards and imagine those vanilla bombs, oh my god, it's vanilla bombs. <laughs> yeah, instant profit. This was profit. unlucky this time. Yeah. Uh, this seed. <laughs> seen Amazing. way too many vanilla bombs lately. Too many for comfort. Don't worry, there's more opportunities. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Literally. Well, GG's all. Uh, good luck on your future races. Yeah, Indeed. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool. Go When's ahead and wrap this up unless you have some comments. We have matches on Monday, right? Yeah, uh, I believe so. Yeah. Yes. All right. yeah, the next match is on Tuesday, Monday. So tune into that. Monday, 6.30 p.m. We got uh, Aether Tablet, No Gain, All Pain. That should be good. Could also be that we just get someone uh, submitting for tomorrow. Yeah, this I did mention a... that there could be a last minute, but... This was a rough seed, though. Yeah. Well, GG race. Yep. It was yep. a fun race, even though I was not participating in the race for an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, GG's everyone. Uh, have a good night, day, or morning, wherever you are. You as well. GG. And we'll see y'all on Monday. It's 5 see you next mission. I need to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs>